Simply Learn. Your pace, your place. Hello, and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. Let us begin with the objectives of the course in the next slide. After completing this course, you will be able to use advanced IP addressing and routing in a LAN or WAN environment, maintain and troubleshoot Cisco routers and switches, configure various network monitoring options, configure various routing and switching technologies, troubleshoot various routing and switching technologies, design, configure, verify, and troubleshoot DHCP and NAT services. In the next slide, we will consider the course overview. This training course will build on CCNA topics and introduce advanced topics in routing and switching. The course consists of three modules, Route, Switch, and T-Shoot, which correspond to the three tests required for CCNP certification. After successfully completing the training, participants can opt to take the exams to complete the requirements for the certification. Lab exercises are provided to reinforce the concepts presented and prepare the student for simulation exercises in the Cisco exams. In the next slide, we will discuss the target audience for this course. The course provides instruction in the subjects covered by the CCNP Routing and Switching Certification Exams. This is geared towards two audiences. The first audience is CCNA Routing and Switching Certified Individuals Preparing for CCNP Routing and Switching Certification. The second audience is CCNP Routing and Switching Certified Individuals who are preparing to recertify. In the next slide, we will discuss certification exam prerequisites. Individuals must possess a valid CCNA certification and have at least one to three years of networking experience. Alternatively, individuals can possess any valid Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert certification. In the next slide, we will preview the titles of lessons in this course, starting with the CCNP Route Module. There are nine lessons in the CCNP Route Module. First, there is a review of static routes and administrative distance. We then move into dynamic routing protocols, starting with EIGRP, then OSPF, followed by Exterior Border Gateway Protocol. Next is a discussion of various Layer 3 path control tools, then the important topic of redistribution. We take a detailed look at IPv6 routing and interchange between IPv6 and IPv4. Finally, the course is capped off with a practical discussion of branch office implementation. In the next slide, we will discuss the lessons in the CCNP Switch module. For CCNP Switch, the first lesson studies switch architecture and operation. Then we move on to switch port configuration, then VLANs and trunks. We then discuss VLAN trunking protocol, followed by link aggregation. There are two lessons on spanning tree. First, traditional spanning tree, and then advanced spanning tree. The next lesson studies the various aspects of Layer 2 security. Then we look at considerations for wireless, VoIP, and video. The last three lessons deal with first-hop redundancy protocols, hot standby routing protocol, virtual router redundancy protocol, and global load balancing protocol. In the next slide, we will discuss the lessons in the CCNP T-Shoot module. The topic of the first lesson is network maintenance. The second lesson discusses troubleshooting methods. Then we have iOS device maintenance, followed by network monitoring. The rest of the lessons in this module detail troubleshooting for various technologies. First, for spanning tree and VLAN, then inter-VLAN routing. This is followed by troubleshooting high availability. The next lesson deals with router and switch performance. Next is IPv4 routing, then security. Troubleshooting NAT and DHCP is the next lesson, then voice and video. Next is troubleshooting IPv6. Finally, AAA for authentication and VLANs. 
In the next slide, we will discuss the value of CCNP routing and switching certification. Industry recognizes this certification as a demonstration of the knowledge and skill required to maintain today's networks. Most mid-level networking professional positions require at least a CCNP routing and switching certification. According to Robert Half, networking professionals with Cisco Network Administration skills can expect to earn a 9% premium above average salaries in the industry. In addition to CCNP routing and switching certification, the individual also receives IPv6 Forum Certified Gold Engineer status. This becomes increasingly valuable as organizations transition from IPv4 to IPv6. In the next slide, we will discuss information about the exams. Cisco publishes general topics that are likely to appear on the exam, but warns that these topics may change without notice. A candidate should be well-versed in both the theoretical and practical aspects of networking technologies. The route and switch exams consist of mostly multiple choice questions, with additional drag and drop, fill in the blank, and simulations. The T shoot exam consists mostly of simulations, with a few multiple choice questions, drag and drop, and fill in the blank questions. Certification is valid for three years. The individual must retake the exams or achieve a specialized CCNP or CCIE certification by that time. In the next slide, we will discuss sources of information. Further study and practice are advisable before taking the certification exams. Study material is available to order at the Cisco Press website. Both the official certification guides and foundation learning material is highly recommended. For information about concepts and commands, visit the general Cisco website.